Hello, Blue Justin here, still Justin, still not blue, and it's time for that huge, huge unboxing that I have been really looking forward to myself. I mean, I want to see what's in here, and uh, I wanted to do it with you on my channel. I have not opened it. You can see it is still sealed, so I've got really not... Uh, that much idea of what's inside here but I believe it's going to be good because it's 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 you know it, it, you don't sort of like create something like this unless you're going to put something inside it that's great and obviously um, even though the title isn't on the front this is the Jerry Anderson super marination series that is Stingray! Uh, so I, I should really get on with it. And I will do. Stand by for action! We are about to launch Stingray! Right, I'm uh, trying to keep this one slightly angled down because otherwise it does that sort of thing and messes up the reflections and everything. Uh, this is a Jerry Anderson series from 1965. It has 39 episodes. Amazingly enough, apparently all, a lot of his um, series, like... Um, uh, Captain Scarlet and all that sort of thing. They had uh, 39 or 40 episodes. I don't know if there was a specific reason for this. But this one was like uh, Captain Scarlet and Thunderbirds actually set supposedly in the mid 2060s and was actually made between Captain Scarlet and Thunderbirds. So uh, that's uh, where it, it places. I hope I'm right. If I'm wrong, please correct me because that just actually suddenly feels a little bit odd, weird, and because of the head sizes. Because uh, I do know that um, some of the series that they did uh, had over large heads because of the electronics that had to go in them and later on they moved the electronics to the chest and then just linked them up to the jaw movements so that they could sync uh, the voices in. Sometimes I feel like I can do that and sync my voice in but uh, anyway No, I've. Well, what am I talking about? That's why I'm confused. It's it came between uh, Fireball XL five and Thunderbirds, uh, and they still had the large heads on all those ones. And I think they were changed for the uh, for Captain Scarlet. So that's where my mind was trying to pick up on. But anyway, the important thing is you want to see what's inside here. I want to see what's inside here. So let's open it. Well, not quite so reflective and tricky now that the uh, shrink wrap is off. It's actually a matte finish on the box. But it's obviously really, really nice. Let's see if I can open it oh, and what's inside. Right, sorry about that. Um, my uh, hand doesn't work that well sometimes. And uh, now, however, I do have box lid off, big box, and I'm just going to pop it over there. And the first thing we have is a 
comic special that does have the network logo in the top corner so obviously it's sort of like a unique to network so that's uh something to read and look forward to i'll just do a quick couple of pages to show you the sort of artwork we're getting here that's early on uh, so all sorts of good stuff there and next up we have I think this is like the, the, the box of goodies, so to speak. They put it in a thick folder, if you like. Um, and I've got to be really careful not to break anything when I open it. Golly gosh, that's lovely. Even even just even just the, the folder itself is fantastic. Um, this, by the way, is the deluxe edition. Um, they haven't released this on Blu-ray for uh, for you know, a general release. I'm sure if you just want the Blu-rays and want to upgrade like I have from the DVDs, um, if you wait long enough, they will probably release this as a more reasonably priced set. But this one is... Um, the only one, well, when I bought it, that there actually was a super deluxe edition, but now in fact that had sold out by the time I even reached the website. Uh, so I would suspect that uh, this is going to be hard to get hold of. Now, let's have a little look at what's in here. Ooh, what we got here. This is exciting stuff. This is good. I think that's a CD, is that? Yes. Audio, yes, it's just an audio uh, adventure. So I'm just, that, that's, that's, that's fantastic. And uh, that's the CD that uh, comes out. I think, oh. Have we got another one? It's quite similar. No, it's uh, maybe it's the advertising thing for the uh, CD. It's the right size. Uh, that's all. Stingray is launched. Adventure and thrills. Absolutely. And anybody who knows me or knows my channel will know that I'm a sucker for submarines anyway. So this is uh, uh, the guts. Um, I think this is explaining whether it's the, what the, what's on the CD with the, the sound reel and uh, emergency and the big gun and deep heat and oh, all sorts of interesting stuff that it's explaining there. Troy and phones go into the adventure. Right, so let's take a little further. And what do we have next? And I don't know if the book is actually included, but uh, they've uh, included a uh, art board for the Stingray colouring book. So you know they're they're going into you know a lot of effort to go and find out this original material and things like that. So that's 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 really pretty. I like that. You could put that in a frame actually. That's really good. And just trying not to lose things down the side of the chair. Um, what else have we got? Character merchandise specification sheet. 
well that's all sorts i mean some of it this will be upside down to both you and me but uh there you go that's what it looks like so yeah and obviously upside down or the other way up you can see the images the right way up and on the back they've got the the different items of merchandise that they sold at the time that with the specs as per the whole point of the sheet right so now we've got the stingray fun book they're really packing this section out aren't they they, they are they're not backing off on stuff like we're going to make sure we put as much as they possibly can in here so are these actually oh they are actually wow uh all sorts of all sorts of goodies uh those are just plain pages but these ones i know well in the middle um that's like a sticker book so you can put the uh you can peel those off and put them into the main pages um you or presumably you can put them either where they're intended to go or where they're where you just happen to want them to go so that's uh always a bit of fun and on the back you have the stingray game the traditional roll dice work around the little path and see what happens uh advance advance x spaces go back one space because of engine trouble that sort of thing oh, i just can't believe how much there is in here um they've oh obviously it's like they don't sell them now but if anybody's old enough to remember considering this came out in 1965 um uh in those days they did put all sorts of little cards in packets of cigarettes uh, even if they were children's things um <laughs> So, um, uh, nowadays, obviously, totally no way. But um, these are the uh, actually these are the sweet cigarettes, and even then, that wouldn't be allowed nowadays. I don't think because it would encourage children to potentially move towards cigarettes. But they were like little candy, um, sugary, very very sugary. <laughs> I remember um, cigarettes or sweets. Sorry, that look like cigarettes and uh these were the this is a list of this is a whole thing of all the cards that were potentially included in those little sweet cigarette cards absolutely lovely and on the back they have details of who or what and the etc is on the front um they've got each of the characters marineville um all the bad guys the good guys whatever and uh and there's a, there's a lovely little picture of what the 20 packets of <laughs> um stingray sweet cigarettes would have looked like uh back in the day as they say um oh that's freaking incredible that's just out there uh these are the and and even the inside of the uh packet thing that holds all the bits together has got uh, the covers of the magazines uh, that, that covered stingray so you've got just ducking from behind uh all the different 
all the different ones. Well, the, I'll look at that by the way, it, it just says the, the scrapbook, but I mean, obviously, we've seen inside that uh, it's a heck of a lot more than that. But, uh, that's just wow. I'll sort out putting that all back in together in a little after I've finished this because we still got to get down to down to this uh, this is the a the book now if anybody doesn't know um, this is uh, a book by Andrew Pixley and if you want anyone to do a book on your uh, series and go into really really deep uh, investigations as to every single episode uh, the the plots the, the the meanings behind it all the production stuff that blah 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 um, Andrew Pixley is basically the man to do it he is just incredible when it comes to that I've got a, a few of uh, the series that Network have employed him for and I'm utterly utterly thrilled that he's done one for Stingray now give me a couple of minutes because I'm not quite sure whether ah oh, there it is right don't give me a couple of minutes I just have to lift out this little bit that holds the holds the book uh, there you go neatly placed and here is the blu-ray case standard blu-ray case containing the is it five discs it says And they they have uh, the same art on them, but uh, it's still it's still nice. Can't really blame them anyway. That's that's how it looks on the inside. You start to open it up. Uh, it says Stingray, and it's got pictures Stingray. Well, oh, there you go called by me and it's a lovely five disc set um, in a regular size case none of this oversized case problem if you wanted to keep the um, uh, limited edition deluxe set thing um, as I've just shown you separate to uh, save space on the shelf or something like that um, you would be able to put that on the shelf uh, and there you go it's not taking up hardly any space especially for 39 episodes that's pretty darn good I mean they're only half hour but still and as we start to reach near to the end of the contents of the nice big box we have the pin uh, it's not a it's not metallic it's it's plastic but it does have a, a proper uh, sort of pin connection on the back so you can so it won't fall off and that is the image for the was it world aquanaut security patrol and again I think Let's face it, they, they were just searching for a cool uh, cool meaning for the word wasp. Uh, so they could put, so they could put that on there. But uh, yeah, that's absolutely lovely. And this is the Aquanaut license and identity card, um, which is the same, but inside you can actually... If you know if, if that was your thing, you could put your name and your validation date 
and it's like you're a member of the you're a member of wasp uh this this one is set as uh the fourth of the uh, fourth of the 10th 2064 like i said mid 60s 2060s so yeah battle stations procedure um is information and in fact that is quite realistic i, I i've actually read and been on um, nowadays um, military vessels that have all the information on um, what you should do in the case of if you hear sirens etc etc but i yeah that's oh just being careful that's just a, just dropping down the bottom dropping down the bottom sorry um but yeah that's the inside a box for the uh just the case there and whatnot uh and this is the book that slips in on top of it and this will go on top of that once i've put all the all the different bits back inside it but uh i won't sit here for five minutes just trying to bore you um so anyway i hope you really like that because i don't think many people will or even if they have bought the uh deluxe set i don't think that many people will be opening it um some some might be keeping it back to resell once it gains in value and all that sort of thing i wanted to have it because i was going to watch it so i really uh was i was going to open it anyway so i really wanted to open it for you and i hope you uh, enjoyed watching that so um uh if you if you did enjoy it please hit like it really is appreciated uh please uh hit the follow if you haven't followed me already i'm almost at uh 200 followers and when i do hit the 200 i will do another giveaway and um you never know you might be lucky so um thank you very much indeed for watching and uh please keep an eye on my upcoming videos i'm trying to get these done i know i'm a bit behind because i haven't been feeling particularly well but uh I'm trying to catch up when I can. So much appreciated and uh, uh, please keep watching and enjoying your TV, films, going to the cinema, other YouTubers that you, you know, really enjoy watching and keep on doing it. Keep on supporting them, certainly. Cheers.